Here is an interesting problem where you need to count the number of squares in the presented shape. The correct number is one of four different choices. Choice A, 22. Choice B, 10. Choice C, 18. And choice D, 14. Take a close look at the picture to see if you can come up with the right solution. I was really impressed, but there are 18 squares in this picture. Let me show them all to you. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 do you see any additional ones it is totally possible that i missed one of the squares and if you do see any additional ones please make sure to post them in comments Let's look at the question where you need to come up with the logical conclusion. Oxygen is a gas. This tank contains gas. Conclusion that was drawn based on these two statements is that this tank contains oxygen. You need to determine if this conclusion is correct. And your choices are choice A, true. Choice B, most likely true. Choice C, false. And choice D, cannot determine. Do you see the answer? Question is definitely worded very tricky, but the answer is very obvious. Let's look into details. Obviously, there are many different types of gases. For example, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and a lot of others. Oxygen is just one of many gases, which is clearly indicated in the statement one. And tank contains a gas, which could be one of many gases, which is shown in the statement too. Based on this, there is not enough information to determine what type of gas is stored in the tank. So the correct choice here is choice D, cannot determine. Did you come up with the same conclusion? Please share your thoughts in comments. Here is an interesting question where you present it with the set of numbers and you need to determine which number is not a prime number. You have four different choices. Choice A, 31. Choice B, 61. Choice C, 71. And choice D, 91. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe recall the definition of prime numbers, and see if you can come up with the solution. Did you solve it? Let's move forward and get to the correct solution together. To solve this challenge, let's start with the definition of prime number. Prime numbers cannot be divided by any number other than one and number itself without leaving a remainder. Some examples of prime numbers would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and you can continue the chain. The opposite of prime numbers are composite numbers, and examples of those would be 4, could be divided by 2, 6, could be divided by 2 and 3, 8, which could be divided by 2 and 4, 9, 10, and you can continue the sequence. As you might have figured out, out of the numbers presented, 91 can be divisible by 7. So, 91 is not a prime number, which means that the correct solution is choice D, 91. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is an interesting challenge where you need to determine the relationship between family members. Amin is Baska's sister. Catherine is Baska's mother. Dan is Catherine's father. And Alan is Dan's mother. You need to determine how Amin is related to Dan. And you have four different choices. Choice A, grandfather. Choice B, grandmother. Choice C, daughter. And choice D, granddaughter. 
give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can navigate in this puzzle and get to the correct solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward, reveal the answer to you and explain how I got to the solution. And as usual, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. The easiest way to determine this multi-generational relationship in the family is to build a diagram. Let's do it one step at a time. Amin is Baska's sister. Catherine is Baska's mother. Dan is Catherine's father. And Ellen is Dan's mother. Now let's look at the conclusions we can draw from this diagram. Amin and Baska are Catherine's children. Since Dan is Catherine's father, Amin and Baska are Dan's grandkids. Which means that Amin is Dan's granddaughter. So the correct choice here is choice D, granddaughter. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to diagram and solve similar problems on the test. Here's an interesting question where I would like you to try your skills and post the answer in the comment section of this video. Which number has the lowest value? You have four different choices. Choice A, one third plus 0 0.4. Choice B, one plus 2.1. Choice C, 0 0.20 plus 0 0.31. And choice D, 6 tenth. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video, and once you're ready, please post your answer in the comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here's an amazing question which tests your imagination and spatial thinking. You need to determine how many triangles are shown in this figure. Take a close look and select one out of four different choices. Choice A, 7. Choice B, 10. Choice C, 12. And choice D, 17. Do you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time and use as much of your imagination as possible. Maybe pause this video and give yourself 20 to 30 seconds to determine the answer. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the solution to you. At least the solution I found. And obviously, if you have a different solution, please make sure to share in comments. Couldn't believe it, but I counted 12 triangles here on the picture. Let me show them all to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Did you count a different number? Please make sure to share in comments. And also please share how easy was it for you to solve it. Here's a tricky problem that you might find challenging to solve. You're presented with the pyramid. Top of the pyramid starts with the missing number that you need to calculate. If you go down, second row contains numbers 29 and 34. Next row contains numbers 11 and 15 and 16. Following row has numbers 4, 5, 8 and 6. And then the last row has numbers 2, 1, 3, 4 and 1. You need to calculate the missing number, which is in the top row. And you have four different choices. Choice A, 59. Choice B, 63. Choice C, 67. And then choice D, 73. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 15 seconds, maybe a little bit longer to see if you can answer this question. Did you solve it? Or was it hard for you? Let's move forward and I'll share with you my solution. But obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post it in comments. Tricky problem, don't you think so? But the solution to this challenge is really simple. To calculate it correctly, you need to move from the bottom to the top. And if you look closely at the pyramid, you will notice that the higher row is calculated as the sum of bottom values plus the increment. And increment also increases with each row by one. Let me demonstrate. If we look at the numbers in the bottom left corner of the pyramid, you see numbers 2 and 1. Sum of 2 and 1 is 3. But then we add the value of the increment which is 1, and the calculated value is 4. Let's continue with the sequence. 
Next set of numbers is 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. And then we need to add the value of the increment, which also increased by 1. So now instead of being plus 1, the increment is plus 2. 4 plus 5 plus 2 equals 11. Based on this information, the missing value can be calculated as 29 plus 34 plus the value of the increment, which would be plus 4, which equals 63 plus 4, which equals to 67. So the correct choice here is choice C, 67. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems in the test. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.